Hey guys, welcome back to the Mago YouTube channel. You've got probably one of the most popular grow light sizes um, to review today. It's grow light suitable for a 4x4 or 1.2 meter by 1.2 meter grow area. Getting into the bigger boys now. Good thing is you get into the larger wattage lights, the price per watt um, tends to go down. So you get into really good value fixtures here. And um, there's a lot of um, companies focusing on this part of the market. A lot of personal growers use 4x4s, but it's also sort of basic modular size for commercial grows, which would generally use four foot tables in maybe eight by four sections. And these lights would perfectly suit them. So very contested area. And so lots of quality to choose from. So high efficiency, good quality, some commercial grade fixtures here as well. So um, yeah, the comparison as always, I've done a few of these series, links below to the other ones, blog uh, on the website as well to check in and links to the lights, a lot of the lights here below as well in the description. Um, the comparison is based on, not on spectrum, because the spectrum of all these lights is very similar. They're pretty much all neutral white. That's not warm, not cool white, but in the middle. So they've got lots of blue basically in the spectrum, um, which will mean that the growth is dense and short. So to totally suitable from growing all the way from seed to harvest. Pretty much all of them as well have the 660 nanometer deep reds. They're for higher system efficiency. So they're more electrically efficient, although more costly and um, they're more photosynthetically efficient. So they're added in to sort of boost the fixture. But spectrum of all these lights is pretty much the same. There's very little difference in between them. So I'm not going into that. Um, there are also different quality of fixtures and this list does not reflect quality nor features. Although most of them have, you know, dimming features and daisy chain um, compatibility for dimmers and all that stuff. Um, this is really about just value. So bang for buck in terms of power output um, for the amount you pay. And I've, I've compared them all in a way where you can compare them uh, um, like for like. And that is by looking at how much, how many fixtures would you require to deliver 750 micromoles? How much would that cost? So multiplying that by the fixture cost. And then how much would it cost to run that quantity of fixture over a three year period? Um, based on 17 cent per kilowatt hour for electricity, which seems to be about right, you know, for it, it goes up and down depending on where you are. It seems to be about right. And over a 14 hour day, which is sort of somewhere between flowering and, um, and vegging. And so I've ordered them by that three year total cost um, calculation. So starting off at uh, the, uh, uh, we've got the, at the bottom there, we've got the Lumatech or Photon Tech 465 Watt Pro. Lumatech is the UK brand, Photon Tech the US brand. High quality build construction, this light. It is mainly sold through retailers, so physical retail, hence slightly higher cost on this to, uh, to, uh, to you know, sell it through the shops, um, but a very good fixture overall. 470 watts is right up there at the higher end, or I should say, for a four by four, generally you want sort of four to 500 watts to deliver between seven or seven and about 850 micromoles, which is um, maximizing the use of that grow space without CO2. There are a couple of lights here. In fact, the ones at the, high, at the top of this list, which are, um, would require CO2, very high average power. In any case, next light, Protec 430 watt LED. Very nice build quality, uh, lots of features, um, protected LEDs, all that stuff. High efficiency, um, but a relatively high fixture cost leaves it um, sitting there near the bottom. Forever Green Indoors, US company, uh, uniformity pro flex, high wattage fixture, 635 watts. Um, relatively high price, um, although it has come down for that model. Uh, very good efficiency, 2.35, and really high average power output. So that's delivering um, 1,490 micromoles over 1.44 meters. So that about 1,000 micromoles. So it's just at that limit 
of the amount of light you'd want to be putting in a 4x4 without having added uh, CO2 um, closed system. Spider Farmer SF4000, 440 watts, right there in the middle of what you would think, $469, which is good value for money, very good value for money. Uh, not the best efficiency, in fact the lowest here, 2.06, uh, which leaves it lower down on the table because of the higher running costs. Uh, Mars Hydro FC4800, 480 watts, 575, a little bit more expensive per watt, but better efficiency. Striking a good balance, but leaving it there in mid-table. Um, Viper Spectra KS5000, only just out. Uh, just done a review, it's on the YouTube channel if you want to see. Very nice fixture, I think. Uh, 500 watts, so up the higher end. $659, up the higher end also, but it is a brand new to the market. 2.3, so it's good efficiency. And delivering 1100 micromoles, which is... Um, getting up there around the 850 average, I think. Nice fixture. High photon flux, fl high photon flux HBF 4000, nearly 500 watts, $500. Very good value for money in terms of dollar per watt. Um, good solid efficiency, 2.16, and good overall power output, leaving it there in the middle. Not the highest build quality, but a good fixture. Grower's Choice, ROIE 420, um, been around quite a while this one, um, 392 watts at the wall for me, 499, that's come down quite a lot. Very good efficiency, 2.32, firmly mid-table. Panvillo Mate, 400 watt, uh, bang on 400 watts when tested. 329, making it the cheapest light per, uh, in terms of dollar per watt. Good efficiency at 2.1, but the efficiency just preventing it from getting higher up the table. Next two lights are my own. Uh, we make our own lights here at MyGo. MyGo Array 8 Plus Red is the standard model with uh, a 2.26 efficiency, the Array 8 Pro 2.37. Uh, one being about 20% more expensive than the other, but also about 10% more efficient and higher wattage. And yeah, as you can see, they are uh, up the higher end of the table, relatively high power output at 1100 and 1250 micromoles respectively. So you're getting up into that 800 to 900 micromoles average power in your 4x4, which is really good level. And uh, I sell them, so you should love them. <laughs> uh, Mars Hydro FC 8000, uh, 800 watts, $859. Bigger lights, as I said, would generally be cheaper uh, price per watt. This is definitely the case here. 2.3 efficiency, which is really good. A whopping 1,900 micromoles output. So you're going for, I can't remember exactly, I think it's about 1,200 average power with this one, which is very high. So you definitely need to be in the CO2 territory here. So running a closed system with AC and CO2 canisters and uh, the whole deal. Similarly, the Spider Farmer SE7000, 733 watts, so a bit little lower wattage than the FC8000, but higher efficiency, so pretty much the same power output. Low running cost because of that excellent efficiency, but again, you've got to be running um, CO2 with those models. So overall, lots to choose from. 13 brands of light there, I think. So it uh, should be something for everybody, I hope. Very interested to hear what you think, your comments below. Um, please let us know. Anybody who has any of these lights, give your opinion, please, um, particularly on, on reliability and service and all that stuff that I can't cover here. And uh, yeah, looking forward to hearing your feedback. Take care.